What's up guys, welcome to the video. I got Tankster here. We're about to smash a push workout, height gains. Uh, I don't know what week this is, but I'm gonna take you guys through a height gains push workout, give you guys a sample workout. Um, we're gonna do the whole thing. You like it, go and cop height gains. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. Everybody, the feedback has been like crazy. Everybody that's on it, they love it. There's a bunch of people that, that said that they're already running it the second time. It's a six week program. So, let's go. Let's, let's get warmed up and uh, get going. Three, two, one. Look at that pump though. Height gains with ghost pump is uh, a deadly combo. This is like two warm up sets, that's it. All right, first movement, we're gonna start off with incline. Height gains calls for four sets of 15 reps. But get this, they are four count tempos where you're coming down, the negative, the eccentric, is gonna be four seconds down, and then as you're going up, instead of exploding, it's a four second count too. You may be asking like, what the hell is the four count for? It's for tut, time under tension. It's to increase that, it's a fun way to increase that, and it's challenging, it'll put some hair on your balls. Try it out, and then let me know how, how, what you think of four count tempo. Oh my. All right guys, keep in mind, you gotta leave your ego at home for these, okay? You're gonna be moving weight that's light as fuck, lighter than you usually do because of the four count tempo and it's 15 reps and it's four sets. So you have to really pick your weight wisely. Those are 65s for me. I might be able to push it a little bit more like 70, 75, but I'm still getting used to my finger uh, without the splint. So we'll get there. All right, pump is real now. Pump is even better. <laughs> Bench press is the next movement. Program calls for four sets of 10. It's a low rep range. My whole goal here is to move a decent amount of weight after all that volume. Decent, when I say decent, it's not your best 10 rep set. It's, it's, it's just something decently heavy. You don't want to drop too low. But you don't want to go too heavy where you miss reps. What are you gonna? What are you gonna use? For a flat? Four sets of ten. Like 155. 155. I'll probably go. I'll probably go 205. It's four sets. No four count tempos, just normal reps. So with the bench press guys, if you're having shoulder pain or discomfort in your shoulders, the main thing that I can recommend you doing is film yourself. Film yourself from the front and see if you're tucking your elbows enough. Also, that you're stacked. Your elbows are right under your wrists. So you wanna adjust your grip to where it's like this and not like this. All right, so if you're too narrow or you're too wide, it's, you're not gonna be stacked. Oh. Oh. 
feels like I haven't benched in a minute because we haven't been really benching. Just a little bit here and there on hype games, but not like prioritizing the bench presses like I usually do. Moving on, Hype Gains calls for a compound set. Compound set is where you're hitting the same muscle group. Super set is the opposite muscle group or different muscle groups. So we're gonna smash chest some more. It's four sets of 15 each exercise. So the first exercise is gonna be chest fly and then a dumbbell, a flat dumbbell press. Four sets of 15. This one's gonna hurt, so choose your weight wisely. How was that? It was pretty, pretty good. All right, moving on, shoulders. Hype gains calls for three sets of 10, single standing shoulder press. Still like a slight impingement, but I, my dumb ass keep doing it. <sighs> Got a little pump going there, buddy. Looking thick. So she said. Next shoulder movement, hype gains, wants us to do some cable laterals, cable side laterals. Four sets of 12 reps. All right, guys, I got a dip, I got work, so peace out. Catch you guys next time. Later. At this point, my pump is just disgusting and I'm like, not carved up. It's crazy. And you guys, you guys, a lot of you guys have asked me, is hype gains for cutting or bulking? It works for either or, all right? For bulking, it would be ideal because you're trying to grow and it's nothing but hypertrophy, some crazy hypertrophy, and that'll get you to grow as long as you're in a surplus. But you can also use it while you're cutting to add to your expenditure. I mean, when you're cutting, you're not in a position to where you're gonna be building. Your, your whole goal is to maintain and burn calories. The deficit, your diet is what's gonna dictate your, your fat loss. So yeah, it works both ways.
All right, wrapping up this workout, we're gonna finish off with some tricep work. Cable push down to a compound set of uh, cable uh, kickback. Four sets of 15. All right, so for the push downs, what you wanna do is you wanna keep your elbows to your side as much as you can, minimal um, movement. And then at the bottom, you're gonna squeeze like you're flexing your tricep. Up, get a nice little stretch in the tricep, and then back down. Keep in mind, you can go a lot heavier on the push down versus the, the rope. A wrap. So that was Hype Gains week five, second push workout of the week. Like I said, you guys gotta get on it. Hype Gains, I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. Link is always in my description box. Get it, cop it, let me know. Tag me on Instagram, comment on YouTube, on the YouTube videos, and let me know how you like it. I, I really enjoy the feedback. On Instagram, if you tag me like your stories, I will repost on my story and tag you, show you some love. I hope you enjoyed this style video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. You go, I go, you stay, I stay, one song, you sing.